My name is Brandon Johnson, and this video continues my demonstration of the Siemens Somatic IT XFP Manufacturing Execution System platform. In the previous segment, I demonstrated XFP's built-in weighing functionality and weighed all of the materials required for my work order. In this segment, I will continue and complete execution of the EBR. Let's review the process flowchart. We've already completed step one, weighing of the materials. Next, the EBR will direct us to identify a compounding tank, allocate it to the work order, and move it to our compounding location. We will then be directed to move our weighed materials to the compounding location and begin combination in the tank. Next, we'll mix our solution and perform a temperature adjustment. Finally, we'll perform our manufacturing declaration and calculate the yield of our batch. Our EBR task list says the next step is to identify a compounding tank. Let's open the task and take a look at the process instructions. Our first step is to consult the equipment move procedure. If we try to move on without reviewing the document, the EBR generates an error message and will not let us proceed. I'll click the link to open the file. Now that the procedure has been reviewed, I am prompted to choose between moving the identified tank using a radio frequency device or having it moved automatically. At this point, I want to take a look at the EBR workflow view to demonstrate the significance of this choice. If we look at the workflow view, we can see the next step has two possible paths. If we choose automatic action, execution will follow the left path. If we choose RF action, execution will follow the right path. Logic like this is easily built into the EBRs during design time. I'll reopen the tank identification task and choose automatic action. Next, I'm prompted to scan the ID of a portable tank to use for manufacturing. Note that if I scan an incompatible piece of equipment or one that is already assigned to another work order, the EBR will not allow me to continue. I'll select tank EQT020, which should meet all of the requirements. Once I scan a suitable tank, its ID and current location are displayed and I'm allowed to continue. The next task is to identify the target location to move the tank. I'll choose Manufacturing Location 2. Finally, I'll provide my username and password to record an electronic signature. You can see that since we chose to automatically move the container, the EBR automatically executed the move using the left-hand workflow path and then moved on to the next task. Next, we are prompted to move the weighed materials to the manufacturing location. This task simply provides some basic process instructions and requires an operator and verifier to provide electronic signatures to certify that the tasks have been completed. You can see the details of my signature above. I'll provide the credentials of a second user to continue. Now that we've weighed our materials, identified our tank, and moved everything to our manufacturing location, it's time to combine the materials into the tank. This task gives us the context details of this combination operation. It lists the tank that we identified earlier, along with all of the materials in our bomb, and asks us to begin combining them. Once I sign, the task will open another standard module. The combination screen displays my work order details at the top, and shows all the materials that I weighed earlier in the process. At the bottom of the screen, I'm prompted to identify the piece of equipment that I want to combine the materials in, and then scan the weighing label of each material to confirm combination. 
Earlier, we identified tank EQT020 as our compounding tank and moved it to the manufacturing location. If I try to identify a different tank at this point in the process, the EBR will generate an error and will not let me proceed. Once I've identified the correct tank, I will scan each of the materials that I weighed in the first step of the EBR. After each material, I'm prompted to provide an electronic signature. Once all of the materials have been scanned and added to the tank, I can quit and move on to the next task. 